everyone, and welcome back to our online smartphone course. This is our second lesson. Um, if you missed our first lesson, we um, learned how to download and install Zoom. So if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and uh, go to our website. Um, all of our videos are on our website. Um, today we're going to learn how to join a Zoom call. Okay, so the standard way of joining a Zoom call is by um, get, receiving an invitation from the host could be from your friends or family that you received either an email or a WhatsApp or a message um, with a Zoom invitation. I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to go into WhatsApp. This is an example of a Zoom invitation. You can see that it says Zoom up here and it says join our um, cloud HD video meeting now. You can see that it says Gabi Arnovitz is inviting you and um, the topic is Gabi. You can see a time. Not always there will there be a, a time and date, but if it's a scheduled meeting um, for, a few, for the future, um, it's going to have a time and date and on that time you're going to want to join. Okay, That's also an important thing to know about Zoom is that it's either an immediate meeting where somebody sends you a link for, to join at this moment or it could be a planned meeting. Um, so it could be that your family wants to talk at 5 p.m. today, or in this case, 3 p.m. Um, then you're going to want to press, you're going to want to join the meeting exactly at 3 p.m. So how do we join the meeting? As you can see, there's blue writing here. This is called a link, okay? Um, usually when there's blue writing, not all the time, but usually, that means that it's either a website or a, um, a um, an external link, basically. What does that mean? It means if I click on it, one slight tap, it will open um, something else, okay? Um, a different app or a website or something uh, in that form. So in the, in our case, this, this um, link is to join the Zoom meeting, okay? So if I just tap on this link, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna tap on the link anywhere on the link, it's going to open up Zoom and automatically connect me to the call. Okay, and now this is very critical, okay? Zoom would like to access the camera. If you want your family and friends to see you, then you're going to have to say okay, because if you don't let it access your camera, it won't be able to videotape you and therefore you will not be able, your family and friends will not be able to see you. So you want to do okay. It's up to you, but you want to see. Okay, you see, as you can see, the camera turns on and it looks at me. I'm going to say join with video, okay? And um, it's connecting. Now, Zoom would like to access the microphone. This is very important also to say okay, because if you do not uh, press okay, it will not let your family hear you, okay? So you're going to do okay. And now, to hear others, please join audio. You, you just press call using internet audio, okay? You have to press on this so that you can hear them, okay? Just you tap on call using internet audio. The three things that I just did, all you got to think about is pressing OK and um, pressing and not pressing cancel, okay? Just remember that. If you remember that, you're good. Now, on Zoom, this is where the, the other person's going to be, okay? Um, at this moment, I didn't turn on the video camera on my other computer. Um, which is the other participant. Okay, I called myself on the computer. Um, but the other participants are going are gonna to be here, okay? And you are going to be up here, okay? That's, that's me at the moment, okay? Now, notice what happens if I click the middle of the screen on the bottom. These come up, okay? All these. If you do not want them to hear you, you can mute yourself by doing pressing on the mute button. Um, and that will mute yourself so they can't hear you, okay? Now, notice how it goes away. Watch, I press the middle of the screen, it comes up, and then after about four seconds, it goes back down, okay? Now, to bring it back up, all you need to do is just press the middle of the screen. Now, the same goes for stopping video. Video, um, notice on the top it stopped the video. Um, the, um, the video camera, if it's red, okay, if it's red, it turns off. That means that they can't see you. If it's not red, they can see you. Okay, so it's pretty standard. You press the middle of the screen, turn on video. Uh, it's not red, turn on microphone. It's not red. And if it's red, it's off. Okay. Next thing is how to see all of the participants. 
when you're in a video call with more than one person, you're gonna only want to you're gonna only see one person here, okay? To see all the people, all you need to do is take your finger, put it on the right side of the video of the of your phone, and swipe right, okay? Okay, in this case, um, it's only me and another person, so I cannot swipe right, but if it would be more than two people, you could swipe right to see all the participants. Okay, so if you're having a big family um, call, you just keep on swiping um, to see everyone. Okay, the last thing that I want to teach is how to leave a Zoom call. So again, you press the middle of the screen so that your options pop up and look on the top right, you have a leave button. Okay, and that's how you leave. Okay, you just press, you tap on that to leave. Um, we're going to do that now, so I'm just going to go over what we learned. Tap the middle to get your options up. Mute. Mute down here. Video um, off down here. And to leave, you can press up here. I'm going to leave the meeting. And you're going to want to press on the bottom here, leave. And you're done. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow.